Muckers Traditional Farms offers a unique chance to experience life in rural Ireland as lived in the 1920s, 30s and 40s. Nestled in the world-famous Killarney National Park, located close to popular attractions such as Ross Castle and Torque Waterfall, next to the iconic Muckers House. Muckers Traditional Farms first opened to the public in May 1993 and it was set up with the idea of preserving the cultural tradition and skills of rural Ireland. And when they went about setting up the traditional farms, then they picked the townlands of Barleymount at Old Killarney. And they visited particular houses in the townland, and, and there were the houses of, of a small, a medium, and a strong or large farmer, plus a kind of a county council cottage. And those houses were from particular families. There was the Cassan family, the Foley's, Quills, and O'Connor's. And they were the template that was the basis for Mocker Solution of Farms. Visitors are invited to take a leisurely stroll from house to house along the rural country lanes or to avail of the free courtesy bus which circles regularly. The small farmer's house has two rooms, the kitchen and a bedroom, and is accompanied by 20 acres for mixed farming. This is the cottage of a single farm labourer. It has one acre for the labourer to provide for himself. The larger farmhouse has three rooms, including a children's bedroom. It also has 40 to 50 acres for mixed farming. Quill's farmhouse represents a large farm holding of 100 acres or more. As well as multiple bedrooms, this house has a dining room and a parlour for entertaining visitors. The whole idea behind the farms was to preserve rural art, to preserve the traditions and the skills that went with it, to preserve the way of life and to preserve the social activities that the people living at that time, pre-rural electrification in, in Ireland, the way that they lived. And to that end, we ploughed, so and set the traditional farms pretty much as they were done at the time, ploughing with horses, uh, making the ridges, the potatoes, using the blue stone, making the cows by hand, handmade butter. And of course, we also have cultural events like the Beatty's Day and St. Bridget's Day and, and uh, Crossroads Dancing. So the whole idea was to keep the social activity as well as the actual skills. One of the most popular activities is the traditional butter making process, including hand milking, the separating, and the creating of butter balls. There are three stages into butter making. First of all, you have the cream, it will come like the, the cream you have for your dessert, whipped cream. Then the second stage is to look like a scrambled egg, gets seedy and yellow, the colour changes, and then to cook together in a lump of water. And at that stage then the uh, liquid will come away from the bottom. And that liquid is known as uh, butter milk. And that butter milk then would be used for the bread making, which the house is down the road would use for bread. And um, long ago people would have drank it, it was very good for the stomach. And um, also people would take a jar of it aside for the uh, warm sunny days that came long ago and they'd use it as a sun protection, it's on their face for, as a sun protection. So there was many uses for the, the butter milk. In association with the gathering 2013, Muckers Traditional Farms invites visitors and locals alike to experience the past by being part of it.